Saw a lot of movies at AFI Fest this year. Uh, no, uh, one of one of them was Ray and Liz. I think this was. Well, I can't say what country it was, but it was subtitled, sort of subtitled. Um, and difficult to quickly sum up for Pray the Movies. A lot of profanity and, and kind of violent, abusive family situation. Not not so abusive that they were really mean to, not intentionally like violent or hitting. And well, not for the kids. Uh, in one case, the woman was really mean towards an adult man. That's another issue we don't hear about too much, or think about, or pray about too much. Is um, with wives, or in this case, it was just one, a woman and a a male friend, adult male. She became abusive towards him. Well, she thought that he had done some things disrespectful to her, and actually, he had been framed by an unscrupulous character who then disappeared. But let us pray for anybody who's in such situations, right? Or being, being abused. Um, this movie had its actually it was kind of funny at points, made it entertaining, and, but it had a deeper uh, message about relationships, family life, poverty. This family was in extreme poverty. And then, then, you know, they had a young son trying to make it. And the parents weren't very, weren't very good parents. And so, makes you think about family life and growing up and caring about, praying for children in such situations where they don't have a lot of they don't have the love and support and care that they need to grow up and become responsible individuals as adults. So we pray for kill, uh, kids, children's children, in <laughs> uh, whatever situations they are experiencing. Let us try to intervene as Christians as much as we can. Problem is these days, if you even try to talk to a child, they think, "Oh, stranger danger." Some parents are overly protective. Uh, that's an opposite problem. In this case, parents weren't protective at all, but in other cases, probably in the United States, the, the, more, pro, the, the more serious problem, ironically, in, even in affluent, or maybe especially in affluent areas, is overprotectiveness. Or you're suffocating the child. Parachute parents, um, or helicopter parents. They're always involved, too much involved. Never The kid never gets a chance to uh, experience trouble, danger, um, and find a way to deal with it himself growing up. I mean, yeah, I'm not talking about really young. I'm talking about when they're getting to that point where they have to start having a little uh, self-autonomy where they can take care of themselves. And, and yet the parents are still hovering over them. And it's not always good for them. They don't, they don't develop... I was listening to Dennis Prager's show yesterday and he was talking to somebody about resilience. Kids need to have to learn how to deal, uh, develop resilience, deal with issues, tough times sometimes, bounce back, bounce back ability, as I say. I'd, 
They didn't say that. I say that. That's my word. Maybe somebody else used it too, but I like that. You need bounce back ability. So let us pray for those uh, people in such situations, the kids especially, and, and the parents, to uh, have the wisdom that comes only from, mostly from God uh, to do what is right. And that means you need to turn to God and trust in God. Pray, believe. So uh, if you're a Christian out there and you're able to you know, get involved in some cases, then uh, that's the best thing. Thoughts, prayers, and action. If you can't get involved in just uh, prayers and thoughts. And, uh, you know, I try to blog about these things, education, educating others evangelism if you can interact with people that's best otherwise i do windshield wiper evangelism things for people to read i stick it under their windshield wiper things like that always trying to just to just to do a little bit here and there to make things a little bit better pray in the name of the father son and holy spirit amen